drowning in a sea of bills? <laughs> then it's time to play Debt. The game show where three debt-laden Americans, just like you, compete to have us pay off all their bills and go home with nothing. <laughs> and now, let's meet today's contestant. I'm Karen, and I'm in debt because I buy too many gifts for my friends. I'm Thomas, and I'm in debt because I had two car accidents in four days. I'm Lilla, and I'm in debt because I took a trip around the world. And now, starting at host, the Crown Prince of Credit, the Duke of Jet, Wayne Martindale. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, everybody, and welcome to the show. Well, the country's in debt, you're probably in debt, but most importantly, these three players, Karen, Thomas, and Lilla, have come to us with their real life debt. One of them might be lucky enough to get out of it by the end of this very show. Now, before we get started to make things fair, we like to do this. We're gonna even you all out to the average debt amount of the day. And your average debt comes to $7,432. Our opening question is always worth one big dollar. Yes. Ten dimes and the honor of selecting our first category. And this is it. To knock a dollar off your debt, a good beginning. I'm a Sioux Indian tribe, our South Mount Rushmore state, and a mid-sized truck made by Dodge. Thomas. Dakota. Knock a dollar off that man's debt. you got control of the board, Thomas. First, let's look at today's categories for general debt. We're dealing with Frankenstein's Guide to Pop Culture. Tony's You Won't Find at the Garage. Beauty plus Baldwin equals bad movie. A killer category. And finally, only my mother calls me that. <laughs> you gotta love that. This is an elimination round. Only the two players with the least dead at the end of the round get to move on and have a chance at going home with... Nothing! So let's get this party started. Thomas, since you got our toss-up question right, you get to select the first category. Frankenstein's Guide to Pop Culture. Oh, yes, I love the way you say that. All the answers in this category sound like they could be uttered by verbally challenged Frankenstein. Contestants, grunt and answer as if you are the monster. For minus 50, I'm the Canuck-sounding ginger ale made by Cadbury Schweppes, and I'm what Frankenstein might say if he found Toronto too arid. Thomas. Canada dry. Yes, that is correct. For minus $100, I played Arthur Carlson on WKRP, and I'm what Frankenstein might say if he saw the actor on a trampoline. Karen. Jump. Gordon Jump. I'm going to accept that, yes, but I love to hear you say, Arr. Arr, Gordon Jump. Gordon Jump. For minus $150, I'm the guitar picking snowman from Smokey and the Bandit, and I'm how Frankie might describe the country star looking at a book. I get to do this one. Jerry Reed. Wait a minute. Minus 200 for this. I'm the actress who played Angela on Who's the Boss and what Frankenstein might utter if he lifted her over his head. Thomas? Uh, Judith Light. Very good. Knock $200 off that man's debt for minus 250. I'm the colorful dance vocal quartet who hit number one in 91 with All for Love and how the Frankster might express his displeasure if you tried to paint his body. Thomas. Uh, color me bad. Wonderful, wonderful. $250 off your debt. Okay, Thomas, you're the last person to answer correctly. You get to select our next category. Beauty plus Baldwin equal bad No, no, you money. don't have to do that anymore, Thomas, huh? no. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Beauty plus Baldwin equal bad movie. Thomas getting carried away, padding his part. <laughs> These questions are about failed films that have paired a Baldwin brother with a beautiful actress for minus 50. I'm the 93 film, only slightly better than a splinter in the eye, where the backdraft Baldwin's basic instinct is to not share Sharon with Tom Berenger. Thomas? Sliver? Yes. $50 deducted from your debt for minus 100. I'm the 96 legal pick that paired up Icy Alec with Rumor Has It, a 12 million per film beauty who couldn't open the scarlet letter. Karen. Demi Moore? No, we're looking for the movie. Thomas or Leela? Thomas? The juror. That is correct. $100 off your debt for minus 150. 
Big Baldwin Daniel plays the hapless hubby in me, an HBO remake, where that splash blonde grows large enough to chuck killer tomatoes. Thomas. Attack of the 50-foot woman. You got it again. Good for another $150. For minus 200. With Blue Velvet Babe Laura Flynn Boyle as part of a dorm room triangle, I'm Stephen's 94 flop that barely drew a me at the box office. Thomas. Threesome. Yes. Remove another $200 from his debt. He's hot, folks. For minus 250. I'm the 1993 thriller that paired cruel, sadistic, but beautiful Nicole Kidman with a hairy, twisted doctor played by Alec. Thomas. Malice. Yes, again. $250 off your debt. Select the category. Only my mother calls me that. Okay, for minus 50, everybody, these are all questions about people known by their nicknames more than their real names. I'm the young golfer dubbed Edric by my mom and called Sportsman of the Year in 1996 by Sports Illustrated. Again, Thomas? Tiger Woods. You got it. $50 off your debt. This is good for minus 100. Born Mary Elizabeth, record companies may have another name for me altogether, but my son Albert Gore III calls me mom. Thomas. Tipper Gore. Yes. Another $100 subtracted from your debt, minus 150 for this one. I'm the only baseball manager to win a World Series in both leagues, but people didn't spark to my name George Anderson. Karen. Sparky Anderson. That's correct. $150 deducted from your debt, Karen. For minus 200, everybody. I'm that man with a raspy voice from Silver Street, Benjamin Crothers. Thomas. Scatman Crothers. Yes. Deduct $200 from his debt. Minus 250. Think of the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band song, I'm the happy-go-lucky tap dancer that almost nobody called Mr. Bill Robinson. That's Mr. Bojangles Robinson. Thomas, select a category again, please. Uh, killer category. That's the detonator. Whoa! Hold on. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> it's the most difficult category on today's board. Easy for you to laugh at, Karen. In the opinion of our producers, this is difficult, and because of that, the value of each question in this category is doubled. All the answers in this category include the word kill, a killer category. For minus 100, I'm the 1973 Roberta Flack cut where you'll hear the lilting lyrics, strumming my pain with his fingers, singing my life with his words. Karen. Uh, killing me softly. More specific. Killing me softly with his song. That is correct. Yes. $100 off your debt. For minus 200, I'm the 96 flick where Ashley Judd looked deadly as Matthew McConaughey's bottle blonde wife. Thomas. A time to kill. Yes, $200 knocked off your debt for that correct answer. For minus 300, I'm the 1966 Russ Meyer classic where Tura Santana breaks backs with karate kicks and what you might yell at a kitty with a rat in its clutches. Faster, pussycat. Kill, kill. That's the answer. Okay, well, that's the end of general debt. We're out of time. I'm sorry to say that you, Lilla, have the highest score, and unfortunately in our game, that means elimination. But you won't go home empty-handed, Lilla. We have something from Julie for you. Well, to help you get back on the road to financial recovery, here's our very own debt piggy bank, along with a $200 savings bond. We'll be back to see Karen and Thomas battle it out for a chance to have us pay off all their debts right after this.